Yes, it's arrived, guys. What's up, everybody? Today, we're gonna test out some mirror paint by Stuart Semple. The company is called Culture Hustle. And what they're claiming is that this is the world's mirroriest mirror paint out there. The most chrome, the most reflective, basically a liquid mirror in a bottle. A few years back, I reviewed a product called, well, I called it mirror in a can, but it was actually mirror effect. So basically, you sprayed the back of a piece of glass and on the other side, it was actually a reflective mirror. This is the closest to what you guys thought that was. I get a lot of messages asking, if you spray that on a wall or on a car, will it be mirrored? The answer is no. That spray paint, you have to actually do it on the back side of glass and the opposite side will be mirrored. This is actually like when you paint it, it's reflective like a mirror. We're gonna give it a go. A few things right off the bat. I'm a little disappointed in the size and for the cost. So this costs 30 British pounds per unit. This is one unit. Shipping was 13 British pounds, and in total this came to 43.80 pounds. In total, making this a $75 purchase. I am disappointed in the price of this. I know there's things that are novelty out there, but with one quick Google search, I was able to find another chrome paint for $12.99. All right, so it comes with this little box. On the back it says, do not, Eat, drink it, or get it in your eyes. May produce an allergic reaction, and it is flammable. And there's the bottle. Like, very underwhelming. I didn't want to just put this on canvas, and I didn't want to put this on paper. I wanted to actually do a 3D object. And what I think most people will use this for is 3D objects, sculpture work. Today, we're going to be painting one of my resin guns that I've made in the past. If you guys followed that series, this was a Tiffany & Co. one I did. So we're actually gonna go ahead and paint this and just see, I mean, how reflective of a piece this is gonna become. This is the before, okay? All right, so here's our piece right here. We're gonna use a small dental cup and then obviously pour it in there. Super reflective stuff. Yeah, definitely very strong odor. Jesus, I can smell that from here. Let me put a cap on that. Jeez. Oof. Now they suggest that you apply this with a brush. Oh my God, this stinks. Holy shit. This smells very toxic. Okay, so there it is in the, in the cup. They suggest applying this with a brush. Right, let's go ahead and try this. Insane coverage. Because they're giving you such little paint. Look at this. One stroke makes the entire thing. This is all from one dip still. This stuff smells so bad, but this is amazing. Like, look at the coverage, guys. This is one dip. I stand corrected. Yes, the bottle size is underwhelming, but you're definitely gonna be able to do a few pieces with this. That's impressive. It's got a very strong toxic odor. That's, pr I'm impressed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very impressed. I can tell this is gonna make me dizzy if I keep breathing this in, but first off, very impressive coverage. From one dip, I did almost half the piece. So let me just get my air purifier. New scene, I've got a, um, a proper mask on. I've got my air purifier going. Next, we're gonna do the grip. Okay, very coarse. Let's try this. Usually this eats up a ton of paint because it seeps into the cracks and, and it collects. This coverage is insane, guys. I started this video almost not liking the product. You can tell in my like my sort of predictions, but this is unbelievable. I've never worked with a paint that had this much coverage. This is one side of it. I know what you guys are thinking. Dan, that's not mirrored. I can't see my reflection. For a chrome paint, this is insane. Test number two. I printed this uh, months ago. It was one of my first 3D prints. It is a life-size Oscar. Down to the design, the actual specs of it. This is how big an Oscar is. Let's go ahead and try to paint this Oscar and see if we can make it look metal. I don't know if you can see from there. It's very plastic. Let's go ahead and paint this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is one, one paint. Let's just see how much I can do with one. Look at this. It's like I'm using a marker. It's just a solid... It just doesn't run out. Oh my god. Okay, that's definitely better. Like, look, you can sort of see the reflection in the chest. One freaking dip of paint, look at that. That literally looks like it's made of metal. Big fan, big fan. Wow, 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 wow. It's funny, I started this video as not a fan 
of this product and I based it solely off of the size of the container. From one pour, we've covered half of that gun, the entire top of this Oscar. We've only done like five or six dips. That was the original paint color of the gun, okay? This is with the paint. Again, I can't see what you guys are seeing, but from here, incredibly reflective. I'm gonna apply a second coat, and let's just see if that, if that matters. I don't know if it matters, but let's see if it gets any more reflective the more layers you put on. Oh, oh, hold on. It actually did get more reflective. You can see the reflect. Look at that, that's pretty good. Guys, guys for a, a paint on chrome paint, look at that. You can see the reflection of my fingers. Day two, I left everything to dry overnight. Not that you needed to. Just for the sake of this video, I wanna make sure everything's dry just to show you guys the final, final product. I took a round sphere resin ball. So I decided to go ahead and paint one layer. The flatter the surface, the better that this paint works. You could see after just one layer of using this stuff, there is a incredible reflection. You can even see how many fingers I've got up. After one layer, one coat of this stuff, it looked great. But I decided I'm gonna do a second layer and I don't know if it, uh, the, the effect intensified like it did with the other ones. So, but the time has come for my main takeaways of the mirror paint. Here are my thoughts. At only 15 milliliters, this stuff costs $75. Before, and I know it wasn't fair, I said, that's, that's not enough, like it's too expensive for whatever you're getting. I did not know the coverage of this stuff. The coverage of this is incredible. With just one dip, you could paint way more than you could with like a normal paint. The viscosity of this stuff is like water. And a lot of paint isn't like that. It, it, it's thicker. It's more like a, a syrup or like a mustard. It's like water. And I think that's why the coverage is so great. It smells horrible. Very, it smells very toxic. You need to do this outside or in a well-ventilated area. Otherwise, it will start to sort of make you lightheaded. There's that. Depending on what you're painting, the amount of layers matters. The front half of this Oscar award is done with, I think there's four or five layers of this stuff and the back is just one. And on this piece alone, you can see how reflective the front is versus the back. So in this case, the more layers, the more reflective. However, the ball, the ball was reflective enough after one. And the idea here is the thinner the coats, the better it turns out. Final thing, my main thoughts, I love this product. I've used chrome paints before. Nothing comes close to this. $75 bottle goes way further than if you had uh, like acrylic paint in this amount. So while it looks small, it is mighty. You have to give these products the benefit of the doubt here. This is a liquid paint. And the reflection that this stuff gives is pretty incredible for a liquid substance. You don't need a base coat. So once again, Culture Hustle, you killed it with this product. I love what they do. Uh, this Jackie O piece I painted, which you can see on my Instagram. That's painted with the world's blackest black. And in person, it's so dark, it looks like velvet. But highly recommend this product. A lot of you guys asked me to review it, so there you go. If there's any products out there that you want me to review, please send them my way. Comment them down below. DM me on Instagram. I'm totally willing to see new, cool, innovative products. Follow me on Instagram, at Danocracies, to see some of my art and more projects that I've done. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Two videos a week, every Wednesday, every Sunday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.